What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in this one, I want to show you a Shopify store that's currently for sale on flipper.com for 400,000 US dollars. It is one years old and it turns over a profit every single month of $8,000. When you value a business, the ballpark numbers are usually 2x what the annual profit is. So when you put that into comparison, you could say that this business is overvalued by 100%. However, in this video, we're gonna be jumping into the numbers, we're gonna be jumping into the products, we're gonna be jumping into the ads that they're running, and I'm gonna let you make your mind up. Do you think this business is worth 400,000 US dollars? So let's start by taking a look at the numbers. This is the primary expenses. Every single month, they're spending in and around $12,000 on advertising, and then to fulfill their orders, they're spending nearly 20,000. What's really interesting about this store is it is still current and still still active and bringing in a very healthy income. So March of 2023, of course, last month, it made a profit of $25,000 with a turnover of $55,000. However, if we have a look at the month before, they had a revenue of 8,600 with a profit of negative $12,000. Now you might be thinking, well, what the hell are they selling? How on earth did they go into 12K negative? Before we jump onto the Shopify store, I wanna give you some background and some contextual information about who they are. So presenting Skont Living, an exceptional e-commerce venture in the flourishing home and garden sector, generating an impressive annual revenue of $300,000, coupled with a remarkable 40% profit margin. Skont Living's robust paid marketing strategy has culminated an average ROAS of 10X, which to be honest is pretty ridiculous. Even some of my best ad sets have a three to four. So for these guys to be getting a 10X, it must say a lot about the types of products that they're selling. And to show you some more information on that, so this is the store as an overview. This data is pulled directly from Shopify, so the seller, the seller is unable to edit it. 1,500 customers from May 26th of last year to April 14th of this year. Total sales of 270,000 USD and 350 orders, only 350 orders. Now, what you may have noticed is their average order value is $776. They are not selling cheap products. So let's jump onto their Shopify store and then take a look at exactly what products they are selling. Now, unfortunately, what is annoying is I can't see what their best sellers are. However, I have been able to track down the ads, the Facebook ads that they're running, so we'll be able to see which products they're pushing. If we go back to the structure, we can see that the theme they're using is impact. So a really professional and modern looking theme and store in terms of the imagery, that sort of thing they used. Definitely looking at this, just the images that are scrolling across and this nice little touch with the cursor. This, so this is my cursor that I'm moving side to side. And what you can see is actually a timer function on that. And when it hits zero, that's when the image changed. So just a pretty cool function um, and feature there of the store. Looking at the images though, you probably agree just on the types of images they use. You wouldn't expect them to be selling cheap plasticky products drop shipped from China. They are indeed selling quite expensive, luxurious products, just like this sofa and this chair that you're seeing here. So these guys are not, at least to my knowledge, drop shipping from China. They're not getting sofas and chairs and things like that shipped over um, from AliExpress. They will most likely be working with local and private independent companies that are selling these products. And they've probably contacted them, maybe even gone in store, certainly spoken to the managers, if not owners of those companies and said, hey, would you mind if we advertise your products on our store and any orders we'll get will obviously ask you to ship it direct to then that customer. Before we go any further then, let's jump onto the ad library and see what kind of ads these guys are running. Um, so all I've done is put their name in um, and as we can see, it's the same name with the same logo. So we know it is indeed the same people. And the most popular product seems to be this Scandinavian style type chair. So what I'm gonna do is head back into their best sellers and actually find this chair which they're advertising and it looks like it is indeed all on one listing and in fact here you can select the different color variations of your choice. For all intensive purposes, this is the product. This is their winning product because they seem to be advertising this product more than any others, apart from, in fact, this coffee table. So we'll track that down in a second and see how much they're selling that for. But what we can see is they're selling this Phil Hemina chair for 548 pounds, which is give or take about $700. So that kind of matches and marries up with what their average order value. So I would guess that this is their best selling product. So everything is very clean. Everything is very modern and professional 
easy drop down so the consumer can see all of the information that they need to know. They're not hiding their delivery times or they've got the dimensions clearly upfront and honest. So all of the potential questions that a consumer might have about this product, um, it's easy to find the answers to them. They also have Clowner installed, which I think is super important for a store like this that's selling these expensive products. Not everybody has 550 pounds to dump in one go on a chair in comparison to the amount of people that can say make three payments of 180 pounds for a chair. Moving down the product page, then they have their shipping policy, return policy, which is a 30 day money back guarantee. They have some more recommended items, which are of a similar -ish style. They're selling this Astrid chair for 1800 pounds. And as you can see, no looks reviews installed. It's obviously not that type of store. At the bottom, they have lots of different contact information, including their physical address, which is based in London. They have a live chat option. They have a branded email address. And of course they have a telephone number. All these things obviously when you're selling these expensive products are imperative. Trying to get somebody to spend £1,800 on one single chair without a single phone call is probably going to be quite difficult to do. To that ad creatives though and what you see is what you get. It's just a single image ad. It is a dynamic ad so there's many functions, many functions, versions, that's the word I'm looking for. There's many versions of this ad, um, all that kind of fit under the umbrella of Scandinavian style furnishings. So I'm guessing what they're doing is just running these single image ads, which are typically a lot cheaper to run versus video ads. And they're just letting them run and run and run on relatively small budgets. And they're probably getting customers at a slow pace, maybe three, four or five customers um, a week. However, when you're selling expensive products like this, you don't expect to be shifting, say, 50 of them on a daily basis like you would a 20 or 30 pounds dog collar or bike light, something along those lines. Let's head back to the bestsellers and see if we can find that coffee table. So 745 pounds on a chair, 145 on a light. As you can see, like in its individual terms, each product is a very, very nice product. A 5,000 pound bed there. And you never know who you're gonna come across that might see that and think they just have to have it. And 5,000 pounds is not a lot of money for them to dump on a bed. And I don't know what their profit margin is in that, but let's say they're working on 50%. So the bed costs them two and a half grand for two and a half grand, which is what their margin is to spend to acquire a customer for that. You can reach people in the millions for that sort of money. So that's probably how they're able to make it work and get a 10X return on their money. So I managed to track down the coffee table that they were advertising 818 pounds um, the same product page layout recommended products that sort of thing obviously a very very expensive product for what it is but again going back to that kind of high ticket marketing strategy that you can afford um, to use if they're working on a 50 percent margin they can afford to spend 400 pounds to acquire a customer if you work on a basis of sort of like five pounds for a cpm then if i've done my math correctly for about 400 pounds you can reach 80,000 people give or take. So to find one person in 80,000 that would be willing to buy this coffee table, they're obviously able to make that work. And so with that being said, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I think I've covered everything I wanted to. Just kind of summary of this store. Um, obviously, what these guys are doing is they're working with private, independent companies manufacture and probably keep stock and maybe even have a showroom for for some of these products and they've probably developed a relationship with them and said look we're putting together this store this is our brand this is what we're about this is what some of the other products we're selling we really think your pieces of furniture would fit really well can we put them on our store can we help you sell them can we advertise them um, and then when they do obviously they're going to that private independent company and buying it from there and they may even be getting them to ship it direct to the consumer as well and so with that being being said that is today's video hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully i've sparked some new ideas to help you on your drop shipping journey any questions or anything else i can help you with just post it down below um, i read every single comment so i will get back to you thanks again for watching guys i'll see you in the next video on wednesday cheers